so you started in OnlyFans mm-hmm. and you said you've made like more in the first 10 hours. Yeah. How did you get, cause there's like no discoverability on OnlyFans, right? Like yeah. how did you get people to find you? Did you already have a social media? I like didn't have a big social media following. It was just, um, well, I post, I before I knew also that you weren't allowed to post links or anything on uh, Instagram, I just posted on my story and was like, gotta pay the bills, <laughs> just try to be funny. A lot of people subscribed and then I also kind of just read that, um, read it in Twitter and then that's actually how I got discovered through, uh, to do mainstream mm-hmm. was, was through Twitter. Was through Twitter. Okay, so who approached you to do your first scene? Um, freaking, uh, God, what are they called? I should know this. <laughs> um, Exploited college girls? Um, yeah. Yes, exploited college girls. <laughs> yeah. That is, yeah. That is the correct term. Is... <laughs> yeah. Because that, yeah, my first scene, I also, I shot and I like was having a good time, but I shot with uh, Tyler Nixon, who's very, oh, who's, yeah, he's lovely. lovely. No, yeah, so I was like, good, I was having a that's fun such time. That's a good first experience. Tyler's great. Yeah. He just, he looks like, I don't know, Abercrombie model. So yeah. I was like, this is, is this like yeah. he's every also like a really I could see you guys getting along because he's also like a very grounded yeah person. like he loves to travel like yeah. he definitely and he's also like still really close to like his family and mm-hmm. his friends like from high school like yeah he's like one of those people that never really got sucked up in the industry yeah like, like he, he keeps he, it seems like he knows yeah. the difference between his life totally. like he really sees that just as just a job yeah, yeah. but um yeah we shot that scene though i think for like three hours i was having sex for like three hours so the sex part of itself was three hours yeah i was wow. like because the beginning of it is just like it's like maybe like 10 minutes of questions and then yeah was it just the two of you yeah <laughs> did it and like were there like breaks in those three hours so i i thought that's what mainstream porn was gonna be like just three hours of straight sex and then like started shooting more. I was like, oh, 30 minutes. And then there's like certain companies I've shot for now where they're like, Fifth, we're fire with 15, 20. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> oh. So wait, does it, did the director just be like, okay, was, just I think like, it was just, him? yeah. Cause I feel like on our, like after an hour and a half, I would have been like, okay, we can. Yeah, we can I'm like, we like, took maybe like wrap this up. one or two water breaks, but it, and they kept recording. Like, it was just... Did they edit the scene to be three I, I hours? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I've watched it. Because wow. I was also like... I don't know. I don't really like watching my sex scenes always, but um, at least those ones. Because yeah. I'm like, a lot of times I don't like the makeup they, they mm-hmm. <laughs> provide. But, yeah. like, I'll watch, like, the one that we did. Like, me right. and Casey did and stuff. What, you that mean one when they get nominated for... for best girl, girl. Best girl, girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, that was a good one. And mm-hmm. you guys, like, it was it felt really intimate. And you guys, like, mm-hmm. really connected. And Yeah. Yeah, it was just nice, too, because we could just kind of, like, let you go. And yeah, that's how it felt. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Lovely day. So, um, okay, so you did your first... Uh, porn scene for exploited college girls and after that did you like get an agent like what was your next move yeah and then decided to move to LA and signed with not the best agent Mm -hmm. and then I think I lasted like six months with them and was just like just didn't vibe with them Mm -hmm. and then recently everything came out about yeah that person so I was like yeah. oh. we're talking about Molly models by the way yeah I mean, we can say <laughs> okay it was like because well I try I know I, mean, I, I don't like to like necessarily call people out and stuff but this is very public and yeah that's true so yeah it's not like we're, that's true like hush, hush. yeah and also yeah I'm like I don't care for that human so yeah um it's actually funny how I got him to let me out of my contract <laughs> Was I, so you got out of your contract before that happened? Yeah, it was okay. way. It was like probably almost like a year before all that happened. Okay. Um, I like tweeted because <laughs> I'm I'm pretty vulgar on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Like, I I'm like I I'm always 
more funny. I make poop jokes. I make jokes about whatever. I'm mm-hmm. not really trying to be a girl next door and pretend like I'm not human. So I made one. I tweeted something about like Indian food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and he told me to delete the tweet. It's not good for branding. And I was like, mm, no. I was like, I didn't hire you for branding. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, calls me and let me out of my contract. Literally because of that? Because of that tweet. <laughs> wow. Because I didn't want to delete a tweet where I was joking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably more than that. It was probably like, especially when you It was, used, we already he, had yeah, was such a push and pull thing. Like and he probably felt like you weren't someone that he could control. Oh, hell no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause I told him, I was like, I'm at the time I was 24 when I got in the industry, I'm 26 now. And I was just like, I'm a grown woman. Like I'm, I'm not here to, you're not gonna like prom, give me empty promises or try to manipulate me in doing anything I don't want to do. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, at the end of the day, if I really don't like this, I'll go back to cooking or yeah. I'll do comedy or I'll do something else. Like I'm not, my whole life isn't ready on like being like, yeah. A porn star. Yeah. yeah. Which is having, like. Having that sense of freedom and knowing that you have other alternatives, I think is like really important. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.